One of the founding members of Seed.org is a gospel teacher. She has been teaching for a little over two years now. This past year, her teachings have been made available online, and we thought we could curate teaching clips to share with all of you. We hope it sparks an interest in you to look into scriptures and find the heart of our Lord Jesus Christ. Here is today's teaching clip. What is this portion over here? It's the consequence of hearing. Whether you hear correctly or not has a consequence. What you choose to hear has a consequence. The consequence being you receiving. Now let me make sure we are all aware of the context of what Jesus is saying. These verses are part of the explanation Jesus gave to his disciples about the parable of the sower. And so Jesus was explaining to his disciples then, and us, his disciples now, that the word of God, when it is received, has the consequence of bearing fruit 30-fold, 60-fold, and 100-fold. And then in here, he continues to illustrate further, because how do we receive the word of God, which was illustrated in the parable of the sower? By hearing. Then we believe, and what we believe will bear fruit. We hear, then we believe, and what we believe we will receive. That is why Jesus premised all of these with take heed what you hear, pay attention to what you hear, consider carefully what you hear. I think the action part is something that need no further explanation. But let me break down the consequences part uh, further so we understand it better. And first, let me talk about this part right here. In Romans 12, 3, it says we all have been dealt with the same measure of faith. So, Let's take this laboratory beaker to illustrate the measure of faith that has been gifted to each of us. So just imagine that we each receive a beaker for us to receive uh, what will be poured out to us, okay? What Jesus is saying in here when he said, with the same measure you use, it will be measured to you and to you who hear, more will be given. It looks like this. For that specific area to which we need to exercise it for, let's take healing, for example. If you hear more about the work of Jesus on his way to the cross and how he took our diseases and my diseases, your sicknesses, my sicknesses to be dealt with on that cross and that by his stripes we have been healed, the more you're able to receive manifestations of health in your body. So if you only hear this much about the finished work of Jesus pertaining to your health, you will also have just this much manifestation of his finished work pertaining to health. And in like manner, if you hear more about the finished work of Jesus pertaining to health, if you hear more about how willing Jesus is to heal you regardless of what you do or have done, if you hear more about the heart of a God who delights in setting you free from diseases and sicknesses, the more you receive and experience manifestations of what Jesus had already paid for you to have. The more you hear about the finished work of Jesus pertaining to health, the more you receive and experience manifestations of what Jesus had already paid for you to have. And this not only applies to healing, it applies to all other areas. When you hear more about the finished work of Jesus in that area, the more you receive. Because much like how Jesus illustrated how the word of God works, that it works like a seed that is received by good soil and bears fruit, what we hear, receive, and believe will be the fruit that we bear. And I said bear because we don't produce the fruit. It is the seed that produces it. We only bear it. Many of us think that it is up to us to produce, that it is up to us to produce results. Well, I'm sorry to tell you this, but it has nothing to do with our finite efforts. The book of Jeremiah puts it this way in Jeremiah 1.12. And I'm using the Young's literal translation here. And Yahweh saith unto me, thou hast well seen, for I am watching over my word to do it. So who is responsible for doing, for producing, for making sure that his word, his promises are fulfilled? The Lord. At this time, Jeremiah's part was only to see, and the Lord performs it. The Lord does it. In our time today, our part is only to hear the word and receive the word. The more we hear, the more we receive. Jesus said it this way to the blind man in Matthew 9, According to your faith, let it be to you. 
Faith is believing that Jesus is able to perform what we need from him. Because prior to this, Jesus asked them, do you believe that I am able to do this? And because they believe Jesus is able to give them their sight, according to their belief in Jesus, which Jesus calls faith, they received their sight. So, coming back to this, Jesus said, For whoever has, to him more will be given. But whoever does not have, even what he has will be taken away from him. Now, like I mentioned earlier, the words of Jesus in here is part of his explanation to his disciples about the parable of the sower. Here, Jesus is contrasting one who hears and receives his word from one who hears but is not able to receive the word and then Satan immediately comes and takes away the word. The first part above, for whoever has to him more will be given, are the good ground people, those who have the word, the ones who hear the word and receive the word. And because they did, the word produces in them, through them, some receiving 30-fold, some receiving 60-fold, others 100-fold. The second part below, whoever does not have even what he has will be taken away from him, are the wayside people. Those who does not have because they heard it, but they did not receive, so Satan immediately comes and takes it away. The word that they had heard would have had in itself produced fruits in them had it been received. But because they did not receive it, they lost both the seed and the fruits of the seed that would have been produced from it. So Jesus said, take heed what you hear, because it is in hearing and hearing from the word of Christ, the good news of Jesus, that faith gets stirred. We pray that this short clip has given you the scripture nuggets that blessed you. We encourage you to get into the word of God daily and find out more about the heart of our Lord Jesus for you. If this has blessed you, we encourage you to like or comment on this post and share to everyone who you think needs this scripture nugget. Let's spread the seed of the word of God together. God bless you.